I made my first guitar, a classical guitar, more than 30 years ago. <laughs> as, as I say that, it makes me feel pretty ancient. Um, I studied guitar making at uh, some part-time sort of night, night school classes. And in those days, I had absolutely no tools at all. And I was using the tools that are available in the the workshop in the class that I was that I was using. I had no woodworking skills whatsoever. But I, I persevered and I made my my first classical guitar, which actually turned out alright. The first few guitars I made which were all well a nylon string then steel string guitars were all made pretty much with just hand tools. But if you've watched any of my my other videos on guitar making, you'll see that I've got in my workshop quite a lot of machinery now, which I've acquired over the years. Got a band source, a router table, uh, os just looking around my workshop now, oscillating spindle sander, a jointer, thicknesser, drum sander, and a whole load of you know, other tools as, as, as well. And when I'm guitar making, I do think quite a lot about what I'm doing in terms of the efficiency of how I'm working, how I can work quicker, more smartly, and using tools that allow sort of greater accuracy in what I'm doing. Just think about jigs that I could, I could use that will just allow me to sort of replicate what I'm doing in an efficient and quick and quick way, just to get a good end result. And over the years I thought about how I shape a neck, how I carve a neck. Could I do that quicker, more efficiently, replicate the same neck shape every time? But I've now come to the conclusion that I will just carry on shaping a neck in pretty much the same way <laughs> that I've done it for the last 30 plus years. I think when I, when I first carved my own neck, I was, I was using files and, and spoke shaves. And that's what I still, still use. Why carry on doing it this way when there are perhaps quicker, certainly quicker, maybe more efficient ways of, of doing this? Well, I think for me there is a primarily sort of two reasons. One is connection with my, my own past when I built my first guitar. I was using spoke shaves, cabinet scrapers, and the like. And I, I like the fact that I'm, I'm still using these tools <laughs> and I know how to use them now. But there's also the connection with the sort of long-term ancient craft of, of woodworking. These spoke shaves, their name you know, comes from the times when uh, the wheels were, the spokes of wheels were were shaped by, by hand using tools such, such as these, obviously for chair making as, as well. Uh, and so I, I like that, that connection with the, you know, the ancient craft of, of working with wood.
But the main reason that I will carry on doing it this way is because I absolutely love it. It just brings me just a huge amount of pleasure and joy. Of all the parts of guitar building, neck carving is my favorite part. And I always look, look forward to this part of the process. Just working with you know, lovely tools that have been sort of properly sharpened. Just feeling the grain of the woods as I'm working. Those parts that are more resistant. Those parts that are easier. Sometimes you feel like you're fighting the grain. This is Cedrella I'm working with here, also called Spanish Cedar, which is an absolute joy to work with. Very easy, very nice grain. And, uh, so I won't need to do too much sanding, final sanding. I just find it's a very therapeutic process. Often when I'm in my workshop, I will be listening to some music or the radio or a podcast. But when it comes to guitar building, I just turn all that off. Just listen to that sound of the spoke shave slicing through the wood. Just get lost in my thoughts. Just concentrate on the task at hand and the, the final shape, neck shape that I'm wanting to achieve. This is going to be more sort of Gibson shape than, than Fender. So after all these years of guitar building and just you know, thinking about how I do it differently, better, more efficiently. Neck carving will remain pretty much as I'm doing it now, I think. I really can't see, see me changing my technique after all these years. One of the reasons I make guitars is because I enjoy it. Yeah, I love just seeing a project come together, so a concept in my head coming to fruition. A guitar that I imagined or designed and just seeing it all come together is incredibly satisfying. And as I say, this part of the guitar building process, I just find incredibly satisfying. So, why change?
Okay, so that's the, the shaping done with the, the spoke shave and scraper. And I think it's uh, time for some sanding. Well here is the completed neck. It's been given a few coats of water-based grain filler which is why it has a sort of slightly sort of satin look about it. Um, I'm just really pleased with how this has turned out. It's 20.5 millimeters thick at the first fret and 23 at the, the 12th fret. This is a zero coat fretboard 12 inch radius with stainless steel fret wire 2.3 millimeters wide 1.4 millimeters tall so narrowish and tall and head stop's been given uh, a black stain and this is maple edge binding yeah really pleased how this has, has turned out as i said at the start of the video i just just really enjoy working with the grain the wood shaping this seeing it all come together and it gives me an opportunity to work with some tools that I really enjoy using, particularly my spoke shades. So despite easier access, more affordable access to CNC machines for small builders like my, myself, I'm just going to carry on building and shaping necks in the same way that I have for the last 30 years. Really pleased with how this has turned out and um, more importantly, this neck feels great.